or say capable show table. Many episodes. Welcome back, guys, for day two of the February mini episodes. This uh, project I worked on yesterday is all cured, so let's get the peel ply off. Man, I just love the look and shape of these combings now. And now with the fiberglass on, they're so strong. Here's a look at the side. There was a time where I wasn't sure what to do here, whether to just leave this panel straight until the uh, C5 bulkhead and leave this little triangle here. But I'm glad I decided to put this little wedge in and carry this look across. I really like the finished look of that. Next, as I've mentioned in the past couple episodes, I've got the main sheet. It's going to be routed through a tube right here. So I have a bullseye fair lead I want to add here. And then I need to add a pad eye that'll have a block on it to direct the main sheet up to the buoyancy arch and then over to the sail. So I gotta install these parts today. And here's what those look like. Here's a little pad eye that'll have the block attached to it. And the bullseye fair lead I'm gonna use. And then here's a, the Harkin block that'll be attached to this, which a viewer generously sent from the Amazon wishlist. Actually, all these were sent by uh, people off the Amazon wishlist. So thank you if you're still watching. All right, so I'm getting ready to drill the pilot holes for this hardware right now. Actually, recently I got frustrated because when I used my drill, it would often, the bit would often slide out. And I learned that I've been using this the wrong way the whole time. You tighten it the normal way, and then you have to go back a click like that to lock it in place. So that'll save me a lot of trouble going forward. Now I've switched out for a 3 8 inch bit. This will make the oversized hole that we fill with epoxy and later we'll re-drill it for the hardware to go in. Alright, I'm going to quickly make a backing plate out of some spare 5 mil G10 I have for this fair lead. It's already got a couple holes drilled in it from another project and I just need to enlarge them a little bit. So I'm so glad I have this new uh, carbide burr set I bought. This is so useful for enlarging holes rather than the way I used to do it which was by hand with a file. Okay that fits now and I trimmed off the corners of it. This thing isn't going to be on a lot of, there aren't really going to be any forces pulling it up, but I wanted more than just the tiny little washers I have, and the big washers I have, two of them won't fit. So, easy solution to use a little scrap G10. So this fair lead is going to go right here, and up next I'll drill the hole for the main sheet tube. I went ahead and put masking tape on the bottom of these holes, can't really see, but... 
Next I need to pour thickened epoxy in here. It's too small of a job to do now, so when I work on the starboard combing, I'll use epoxy for that, and at that time, I'll also make some and pour down here. But I'll go ahead and drill this now. Okay, now I'm gonna open up the hole using my new favorite tool, this carbide bit. Okay, that worked out very well. There's the hole. Here's the tube for the main sheet. It's gonna go in there, something like that. And I will leave you guys with a couple clips of how I made that tube. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor, hit that like button, leave a friendly comment, and I will see you guys in the next one.